What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, the feud between Donovan McNabb, former league MVP, and Terrell Owens, Hall of Famer, continues. It continues. Why, I don't know, but it continues. Um, you know, these guys played together, I believe, in 2004, 2005. And, and uh, I believe when Terrell first got there, they were cool. But their relationship deteriorated. Um, and, the, and the lack of relationship had a lot to do with why um, Terrell Owens ultimately left. And I think he went to go play with the Cowboys, I think, after that. If I'm not mistaken. But anyway, soon afterwards, we, we always heard Donovan McNabb throwing shots at, excuse me, not Donovan McNabb, excuse me, Terrell Owens throwing shots at Donovan McNabb. And, I mean, I get it. You got to let that shit out your system. Let a motherfucker know how you really feel. Um, even though me personally, unless I truly despise somebody, um, that's, that's some shit you can kind of deal with behind closed doors. But the fact that here we are in 2022 and Terrell Owens is still, like, throwing shots at him, I don't know, man. <clears throat> at, at some point, it, you know, all the criticism about Terrell Owens, and, don't, and believe, let me say this, he still should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. That shit should not have affected uh, him being a first battle Hall of Famer. Any of that personality bullshit, okay? Uh, because there's a lot of people in the Hall of Fame in all sports who are grade-A assholes, and they still were first battle Hall of Famers, okay? And you hear people say, hey, you don't judge them by the personality. You judge them by what they do on the field. But magically for us, that, that rule doesn't apply. You know, if you're an asshole, then they, you know... If you're an asshole and you're black, oftentimes that's enough to keep you from being first ballot or in some instances, like Barry Bonds, completely out of the Hall of Fame. And don't tell me about, well, the steroids because David Ortiz is in the Hall of Fame. First ballot Hall of Famer, even though he was on the Mitchell list. And there were time, it was a situation where he literally was caught using steroids. But it doesn't apply to him. So that to, to me, their Hall of Fame is bullshit. Cooperstown Hall of Fame is bullshit. As far as I'm concerned, fucking Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens are in the LDBC Baseball Hall of Fame. <laughs> shit, if I got to start that shit up myself. Fuck that shit. But anyway, um, this shit is just old, man. It's just old. Like, Donald McNabb was asked about whether he thought the Eagles could win right now. And by that, I mean win a Super Bowl. He said he don't think so. He think there are a piece or two missing, you know, a couple pieces missing from the championship formula. And he thinks Jalen Rose would probably, not Jalen Rose, excuse me, Jalen Hurts would benefit from a little bit more experience. Then some people say, well, they didn't hurt Patrick Mahomes. Well, are you talking about Patrick Mahomes, man? Everybody's not Patrick Mahomes. So, oh man, he just hating because Jalen might be better than him. Man, McNabb took the Eagles to the playoffs like eight or nine times in his career, man. Eight or nine times. He has an MVP award. Why the fuck is he jealous of Jalen Jalen Hurts? Come on, man. Why is he jealous of him? So Terrell was like, see, I told you, man, this is an insecure, jealous dude, man. He's jealous. He's jealous. Man, a lot of times, I think with Terrell, he's the, the problem. He, he's the problem that some people have where they think they keep it real. 
But in reality, you you know, some people that keep it real, that's that's why they have problems in life. There are times when you gotta let people know how you feel about shit, but there are also times when your opinion isn't the most important thing in the situation. You getting out your true opinion about how you feel about something, um, sometimes it's not the most ta- ta- tactical, uh, tactically smart thing to do. Okay? Um, it's just not always. I'm just like this, man. That shit was 20 years ago. It was 20 years ago. You guys didn't win a Super Bowl. You went to one. You failed to get it done. Did Donovan McNabb choke? I mean, it is what it is. You could make the argument. Terrell Owens did what he had to do. He did what he had to do. And if I remember he was injured and had a hell of a fucking Super Bowl. So, to me, what I think it is, Owens, to this day, is pissed off that McNabb didn't deliver for his and, and solidify his performance in that Super Bowl. He did his job despite being injured. He should be praised for that. But because McNabb struggled and didn't match Owen's performance, I think he holds contempt for him because of that. Because it kept him from winning the Super Bowl and pushing Terrell Owen's legacy to another level. That's what I tend to think. I think he still holds grudges against him because of that. And uh, he's he's never going to let that shit go. He's never going to let that shit go. But um, tell me what you guys think, man.